What's up Anchor Squad, before we get into this video please subscribe to the channel for more videos. And support by giving this video a like and share, and click the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads. Mortal Kombat 2 is currently in development, but a prequel spin-off would be more exciting and could bring back the series' two best characters. Mortal Kombat 2021 set up a sequel with Cole Young, but the best idea to follow up the reboot is a Black Dragon spin-off. While it was far from perfect, the R-rated video game adaptation was a huge step in the right direction for the franchise, as it faithfully adapted the violent and gruesome fatalities, and there were creative references to the video game too. And the most unanimously praised part of the movie was Kano, the hot-headed and trigger-happy Australian who's full of vulgar one-liners. He's even better when he's joined on screen by his old mercenary friend, Cabal. However, the biggest problem with the 2021 movie is that it killed off the most entertaining characters. Even though Mortal Kombat 2 is in development, which will likely feature the beloved Johnny Cage, there's slim chance of Kano or Cabal turning up following their fates in the first Mortal Kombat. But that's why a spin-off is the best idea, as a prequel could bring the two characters back. It has been confirmed that Warner Bros. is developing several Mortal Kombat movies, so a spin-off focused on the two is very much a possibility. In the Mortal Kombat video game, Black Dragon is a faction of mercenaries that is known all over the world, and even in other realms. While the games mostly focus on individual characters, the Black Dragon is one of the best-known components of the series. Cabal is a prominent member of the Black Dragon, and Kano is the faction's leader, which explains their history together and not only their shared sadistic sense of humor but their shared anarchist ideals too. When they worked together in the team, Kano even saved Cabal's life from havoc. Kano was Mortal Kombat's best character. He had the best one-liners and the most charisma. And that was elevated when he and Cabal shared screen time. The banter was hilarious, but as it was only in two scenes, it left audiences wanting more. The prequel spin-off is the best option that could fully capitalize on the best part of the 2021 movie, and their relationship could be fully fleshed out in a Black Dragon movie. There'd also be more scenes such as when Kano rips out Reptile's heart. And it's the best way that the characters could return to the big screen given that they were both killed in Mortal Kombat. The Black Dragon grew notoriety for their sadistic nature and for stealing magical artifacts, such as the Eye of Chishin and the Portal Stone. A movie based on the faction could have the format of an epic heist movie, only significantly more brutal and supernatural. This had already been hinted at in 2021's Mortal Kombat, as Kano tried stealing the amulet of Shinnok that was on display in Raiden's temple. And as the mercenary group is often hired by other infamous Mortal Kombat fighters, such as Kotal Khan, the film could introduce more major characters and help build the Mortal Kombat movie universe. However, the movie could also be an epic that spans decades, even centuries. While Kano became the leader of the group, the Black Dragon was formed by Morihei Aishiba at the beginning of the 20th century. The faction was formed when Aishiba grew tired of the strict codes of conduct of another mercenary group he was a part of, the Red Dragon, and since then, the two mercenary groups have never seen eye to eye and have often planned attacks on each other. Part of the movie could focus on the constant threat of the Red Dragon that the Black Dragon has lived under for 100 years. Based on their epic and absolutely definitive deaths, there's almost no chance that either of them could return in Mortal Kombat 2. Cabal was burned alive when Liu Kang summoned the Fire Dragon, and Kano died when Sonya stabbed him and his laser beam eye. However, as the franchise is full of magic and supernatural elements, there are surely ways to bring them back from the dead. Given that Kano was the most positively received part of the 2021 movie, Warner Brothers will surely find a way to feature him in the sequel. Either way, Black Dragon is the best option to bring the beloved characters back. So, are you all excited for the Mortal Kombat movie sequel? Should they create a Black Dragon spin-off series? Let me know down in the comments below. Also, if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for more videos and support by giving this video a like and share. See you all in the next one. I will be giving away $200 Amazon gift cards when this channel reaches 30,000 subscribers. All you have to do to enter is drop a like on this video, be subscribed to the channel, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any uploads. And in the comment section, let me know why you want to win the $200 Amazon gift card and include your Twitter handle. The winner will be announced once the channel reaches 30,000 subscribers.